What's up guys? We have not posted on here doing a sit down video in a long time and we just posted an actual video after months yes. of a break. Uh, but we're finally traveling, obviously. But we wanted to sit down and answer some questions about RV life that we frequently get asked. We're just going to read from TikTok all the comments that we got and we'll probably put them on the screen to make it a little bit easier. So you can read closed captions provided by me. This is good because I can barely read so I like looking at <laughs> pictures. <laughs> so there are multiple questions like this but uh, hey I noticed you have a motorcycle how do you take it with you when you travel to another camp area? So we actually do have a motorcycle that is our only transportation that we have. It is a V-Strom 1000 Suzuki so it's an adventure bike it has full bags and then we bring it with us on a 5x8 open trailer uh, we take it with us everywhere. It's easy to unload with that, and it's easy to move around even with the motorcycle on it. If we have to back into a small area, we can just unhook it. Me and her can lift it and push it with the motorcycle on it, and then unload the bike later. This question says, just curious on average, how long do you stay in any one place? So we've been doing this for, we left a month ago, but we've only been doing it for two weeks out of that month because we stayed at my family's for... Thanksgiving for like two weeks um, so right now we've pretty much been staying any place for two to like five days ish depending on where it is and how long we want to stay but we're in San Antonio right now and we stayed an extra day because the people let us just to relax and we also had like people to see here and stuff so it really depends uh, we're kind of like playing it by ear if we like a place more we'll stay longer and if we don't like it as much then we'll just leave earlier um, do you have a house still so no we don't whenever we're in oklahoma we actually sold the house to move into this we lived in it for about a year and a half before we actually left to travel did all of the renovations so no we have nowhere to stay besides this house friends houses and family's houses and no we were not going to do the whole renting it out thing because we've never done it and we weren't going to risk doing that this question says do you travel with pets and we do we have two kitties um, they'll probably make appearances on here. They've been in a couple of our TikToks, but we've had them for well, oh, 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 oh. Kitty. That's Mia. We've had them when we lived in our house. Uh, we've had Cora for seven years almost, and Mia for five. Yeah. So we obviously weren't gonna get rid of our pets just because we're traveling in the RV. Um, they have a love-hate relationship with it, but it works out, and you know it's easy with cats yeah a lot of people have dogs here. but yeah do you both share the driving responsibility um so in every aspect of our whole relationship ever no we don't share it it's only me all of the time by his own choice and also her choice she prefers me driving over herself driving Honestly, I don't care. I've offered multiple times to split driving. No, I don't feel super comfortable driving the RV. I have, but um just vehicle wise he's like I'm driving so you can't yeah. say anything about it we don't share do you use solar power if so I want to see the setup we do not unfortunately have solar we have a generator that's what the RV came with we really honestly weren't very educated on solar versus the generator yeah. until we've like been going a lot of boondocking places don't allow generators to run at certain times or just at all because they're loud but everyone has solar pretty much it's the best way to go so if you're doing RV life I highly recommend getting solar but the generator works for us so that's what we're dealing with yep generator and house batteries did you get a warranty when you bought your RV and have you had any issues with the used RV so when we did buy it we did get a warranty through the dealership a lot of dealerships do this uh, it's called star RV uh, we almost had to go through it once uh, it seems like a pretty easy process and stuff like that you have to pay a small deductible and most of our appliances and other things are covered with it slide out um, we have had some issues. We had an issue with the slide out and an issue with the air conditioning, both of which are still not fixed because Gander RV kind of screwed us over. Um, I highly so, recommend not using camper, Camping World or Gander RV. But that's just our personal opinion and a lot of other people out there have said the same thing. So we have had a f couple issues but nothing crazy and nothing that uh, has made us not being able to drive or go place to place. Dumb question, but do you empty trash daily like at gas stations or where do you dump if boondocking? So as of 
since we've started we haven't had an issue because a lot of places have trash cans for us to put trash even on the beach there was trash cans um, or dumpsters or something like that or people were staying on their property they let us use their trash cans yep. we've only had one time where we had to take the trash with us and then we just threw it away at a gas station didn't we yeah i tied it to the trailer yeah and then we just took it with us and then dumping the tanks uh some places do offer like where we're at right now they actually have full hookups everything wi-fi i mean it's amazing here they have wi-fi they exactly. have uh they let us do laundry in their house they have the dump stations but other than that dumping we just drive to a gas station pay ten dollars to dump or we find somewhere on the app that we use that is a place for free dumping or sometimes uh rest areas have it too yep do people stare at you when you get groceries and bring them back to the rv <laughs> um i don't think so uh not that we've really noticed yet i'm I, not a very aware person of what other people are doing so as far as like just anything that we do if we park in a gym parking lot or do anything like that i'm always thinking like wow these people are probably like what are these kids going back to the rv for and then they drive I away no that's what i think i'm but, like what are people thinking <laughs> but we don't know we don't try to pay it like it's not like we're gonna just look over our shoulder constantly and yeah. stuff like that but i'm sure a couple people do get a little opinions and stuff like must be nice, you know. So. It's not your house. <laughs> How do you shower? There is no shower or tub. So we do have a shower. Yes. Uh, most RVs do have a shower. Some of them even do have like a tub situation. Uh, Brooke and Eric had one for their kids and stuff. Like I think they've like renovated it to be like that. Yeah. But we personally don't use our shower. We're actually going to use it today. Me for the first time. <laughs> because we're boondocking. But normally we shower at Planet Fitness because we do have a gym membership there because it's all across the country. We still work out and then we go there to shower, which is very convenient. Um, but that's pretty much what we do for showers. Or if like we stayed at a state park in New Orleans, they had showers available there. And where we're going next in Big Ben, have they have showers. So it works. And you can also go to truck stops and pay like 10 bucks, I think, to take yes. a shower too. Did you replace your RV bed? If so, what kind? So whenever we first bought the RV, there was a memory foam mattress that was obviously in here whenever, like, probably from the beginning, which it was, it was probably like uh, 10 years old. It, it, would have uh, it was like a memory foam type mattress, whatever else. There was a science experiment in that. So we brought our, our bed from our home in, and it was a full queen size, and it was too big because uh, the RVs are usually like a little bit shorter of a bed that way. So whenever we actually had it, it was we had to squeeze by it a lot. Uh, we actually got rid of it so we could get a different bed, and we got a new memory foam one from Gander RV. It's a queen short. This was before Gander after us over. Yeah, it was, that was when Gander was good still. <laughs> so we got the queen size short, and it's worked perfectly. Every time I get in bed at night, I'm cozy like Super a Super happy. <laughs> Snug as a bug in a rug. I said cozy like a kitten. Oh. Yeah, that's good enough. Snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> where do you sleep? I'm going to assume this means where do we park the RV to sleep, because we obviously sleep in our bed. But we... <laughs> Keep saying we're boondocking. Specifically, we have paid at a couple places to stay, but there's RV parks. You can boondock, stay on free land. Um, you can even stay at rest stops. Walmart parking lots. Walmart. Lines. Sometimes Cracker Barrel allows you. Sometimes they don't. I don't yeah. know. It's a big controversy, but you pretty. We have been comfortable everywhere we've stayed. It's been very secure on people's property because we paid for Boondockers Welcome, which is a fifty dollar app that is a year membership, and then people offer their land. A lot of people are RVers as well, yeah. um, so they know the struggle, and a lot of people have hookups and stuff. But that's where we sleep. That's where we sleep. If you were to think of moving into a house again, would you keep the RV or sell it and keep the money to buy other things? So we're back and forth on it and we kind of both have a different opinion sometimes. Um, but eventually, whenever we are done with the RV, we're going to move into an apartment for a little bit. That way we don't have to furnish a full home. Um, we don't know if we're going to keep the RV, put it in storage, and then we'll have it for a little while. Or you can even rent your RV out, kind of like Toro, where people can actually use it like Airbnb and then can drive it and do whatever else and stuff. Um, there's a lot of different options, but uh, we kind of want to sell it whenever we're done, just because we can get something else whenever we want to. We're selling it. And we'll see what happens. That's I'm your answer. I'm not getting an apartment to not furnish up. We're, we an apartment because we don't that's not what i i that's mean that's said. not the main reason why that's, that's not, what it sounded like no, man we not. don't want to buy furniture so we're getting an apartment <laughs> no one's gonna take it that way yeah i did Babe, this is a long one this is a long one this is a long one 
<clears throat> Me and my boyfriend are currently moving into an RV to live for a few years with three looking at four dogs. Is it still easy to have pets and is it hard to get pictures hung up? Is it okay to put wallpaper on? Is it storage hung a problem or my should oh I not go over that? Goodness them? gracious. Okay. Um, is it still fun? Do you feel confined or squished? Can you make changes out of the couch? Sorry, I know these are probably stupid. So, that's a lot. That's a loaded question. First of all, a lot of people do it with dogs. We know many people. More people do it with dogs than not. Three or four might be a little cramped. Depends on the size of the RV, but we know people. But we have seen people with that amount of dogs. Yeah. Um, we have two cats, and obviously it's comfortable. Hard to get pictures hung up. Not really. I mean, we don't have anything hung up. We have, like, this little thing. We have a mirror. Um, it just depends, but I would say it's fine, and a lot of people use, like, command hooks for things. We have two things in the bedroom that I use command hooks for. We just take them down when we're driving. Um, I don't know. I've never- there- it is okay to put wallpaper, but we have not. So, I don't know how that is. Um, storage is not really a big problem for us. Depending on your RV, depending how much stuff you keep. Yeah. So, we have a couple things that are our parents. Yep. Uh, but other than that, everything's in the back of the RV, but we don't have a lot of stuff. Some people get storage units. Um, is this still fun or do you feel confined or squished? Um, we don't feel confined and squished really. Um, unless like we're hanging in our bedroom and like walking around back there is kind of small, but like out yeah. here we're fine. And it is still fun because we're traveling full time and we're seeing a lot of cool new things. So we, we're having a good time. And then yes, you can change the couch. This is from Ikea. We had a couch in here, we, put, we pulled it out, and then we just built this in here because it was really the only way we would be able to get a new couch in here to fit through the door. Very true. All right, final question. This is a pretty good one for anybody that wants to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is very good. The, yeah, the Griswold family Christmas. <laughs> How do you even get started? That's a loaded question. So the way we got started, we decided that we wanted to do this. We knew we weren't going to travel, so we just pulled the plug on this house and just decided we were going to move plug. into the <laughs> RV and live in it full time. Um, we searched far and wide for the perfect RV. We found one that was only like an hour away from us at a dealership. Uh, went there multiple times, looked at it. Uh, multiple times. Make sure you're constantly looking at it, inspecting it all that you can. You can hire inspectors to come to it as well. I recommend that if it's used. Look for water damage. Yep. And then as far as uh, after that, you get it, you get insurance, and then do whatever you want. Uh, we had our house for about a week once we finally bought this and brought it home. Uh, we renovated it some then, and then everything else we've renovated while we've lived in it. We're still not done, but we're really not in a hurry to do anything else while we're traveling. I would like to add that a lot of people are doing this and they have like, you know, had their life, they have a lot of stuff, they've been in their house, they're settled and it's hard for us. Like we've been living military life since we were 19. Yeah. So we are used to like living, traveling, moving and like not having a lot of stuff. And no so stuff. it was it was easier for us. So there's a lot of things we can't really speak on or like relate to in the aspect of having a lot. Yeah. So to get started, it was easy for us. Yeah. And we're also always away from family. But you gotta sell a lot of stuff and, or put it in the storage unit if that's, if there's a lot of stuff that you don't wanna get rid of. But we just got rid of everything. And we all, we also just said like, we really had nothing to lose. Cause regardless, we were moving out of Oklahoma where we were at. And we were like, you know what, we'll try it. And if we hate it, we'll sell the RV. Yep. But we stuck it out. Almost did in a couple times. And here we are. But we've enjoyed it. We are enjoying traveling. So hopefully you guys continue to look forward to those videos. See a lot more of us. And we promise we're going to get better at the <laughs> vlogging thing. It's new to us. It's new to us. So hopefully look forward to that. We're going to have a good ending to Texas video coming after this one. And then we'll be into New Mexico after that. And on to the west. On to the west. So if you did enjoy this, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. Uh, make sure you follow us on all our other social media platforms. And otherwise, we will see you next time. Bye.